Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on transposing an array using Microsoft Excel. So in counseling research, we like to have our data in a format as I presented here in this Excel worksheet, which has the cases or participants in the rows and the variables in the columns. So you can see in this design, we have 40 participants and two groups, a control group and a treatment group. So that's the independent variable. And then two dependent variables, a pretest and a post-test. So if we collect the data in this format or receive the data in this format, we're in good shape to conduct a variety of analyses. But oftentimes, depending on the way our study is structured, meaning we get the different data from a variety of sources, we will get a format that looks like this. So this is really the opposite of what we want. And you have here the rows have the variables and the cases are in the columns. And clearly we want to take steps to avoid this by designing our research study uh, properly. But again, sometimes this data that we'll be using has been collected before uh, we decided what type of research study, so it's more of a convenient sample, and it's already formatted in this incorrect format. So to make this format, the incorrect format, appear like this, there's, there's a few methods we can employ. Clearly, we could re-enter all the data, and that would take a while, even for the 40 cases here, 40 cases and the uh, two dependent variables. That would take a while. But fortunately, Excel offers us a couple ways to transpose this array. So the first way I'm going to show you uh, is the easier of the two ways. So for, first we'll need to create a new sheet, a new worksheet. And on the incorrect format tab, highlight the entire region that you want to transpose. So that would be all the data. And then we're going to want to copy this entire range. And then in the new sheet, you want to paste special, which is the bottom option down here, and leave all these uh, the same except select transpose and click OK. And as you can see, that was fairly easy. Now we have the data in the correct format. It's much easier to analyze now in Excel. And of course, we could also import this into SPSS. You can see the correct format here, and the transposed format is now correct. So this is, uh, I think, not only the easiest way, probably the best way to transpose the data, but it has one uh, difficulty, which is if you're working in an environment where somebody's entering data and still entering data in the incorrect format, worksheet and they're making changes, those changes will not be reflected in the corrected format uh, copy and paste that you did. So for example, if uh, somebody wants to modify case 1003, they have a pretest of 45, uh, but they realize it was actually 54, and they made, a, they made an error. As you can see, it, it does not update. This would be the same record. It won't update because it's simply copy and pasted. So it's not dynamic. However, Excel does offer a way uh, to make it dynamic. And that's by using the transpose function. So first we need to go to the copy and pasted version and look at the range that's occupied by the correct format. And of course, it's going to start in A1 in this example. 
And the other corner of this range is D41. So let's start a new sheet, keeping this information in mind, the coordinates in mind. Now let's highlight this entire region, A1 through D41. So this is a little different than a normal function because uh, we're going to leave this entire area selected. And then we're going to click equal sign and then transpose. And we're going to enter in the range, and they call an array, that we want to transpose. So we'll go to the incorrect format tab. And we're going to highlight all the area that we want to transpose. And before we'll close these parentheses, but before we're done, we want to hit Control Shift Enter, which enters this as an array. You can see the brackets at the very end, one bracket at the very end, and one bracket at the very beginning. And you can see, of course, the uh, formatting's gone. But this is dynamic. So if we go back to the incorrect format, we move back to that same example of case 1003. We want to change 45 to 54. And now you move to the same location. Using the transpose function, you can see it does update. So it is dynamic. So these are a couple ways. Uh, to transpose the arrays. Again, uh, I would recommend setting up your study so that you do not have to do this, but sometimes it is not avoidable. And sometimes we receive the data in a format that's not useful and uh, we have to transpose it. I hope you found this video on transposing arrays in Excel to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.